Kate here. And for our final story time of the summer season, we are going to go buggy. And this is my very favorite kind of bug. Does anyone know what kind of bug this is? It's a beautiful butterfly. And if you go to the park or your backyard or for nice long walks, maybe you can find some butterflies flying around and maybe if you're very still and very lucky it will even land on your shoulder well i'm gonna leave this guy out because we need to sing our hello song Are you ready to sing hello friends okay let's count to three one a two a three hello friends hello friends hello friends it's time to say hello again hello friends Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello, hello. And now we're going to do a little stretching and we're going to turn to a different kind of a bug. A bug that maybe isn't quite so welcome and that is our friend the ant. And for our stretch, stand up if you're able. And this is going to be the ants go marching. So if you can stand up, stand up and do some marching with me. If you can't, if you are a little baby, grown ups, move those little legs. Let's all get moving around. Here we go. You ready? The ants go marching one by one. Hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching two by two. Hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching three by three. The little one stops to climb a tree. Climb a tree. And they all go marching down to the ground to get out of the rain. Boom, boom, boom. The ants go marching four by four. Hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching five by five. Hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching six by six. The little one stops to pick up sticks. Get all the sticks. You got them? Okay. And they all go marching down to the ground to get out of the rain. Boom, boom, boom. Ants go marching seven by seven. Hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching eight by eight. Hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching nine by nine. The little one stops to check the time. Check your watch. Uh-oh, guess what time it is? Time for stories! And they all go marching down to the ground to get out of the rain. Boom, 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 boom. Yay! Great job, guys. Does everyone feel properly warmed up? Excellent. And now we're going to read a book featuring a big bug. As a matter of fact, it's called big bug. And does anyone have a guess what kind of bug this is? Yeah, it's a ladybug. It's a little ladybug. So let's see. Uh-oh, not so little. Big bug. But now it looks like a little bug on a big leaf. But now what? That leaf looks little, little leaf on big, what are these guys? Yep, yellow flowers. But what? No, it's little flowers with a big, what's that? Ruff, ruff, ruff. Dog, a big dog. Is that dog so big? No, now that dog looks little next to the big cow. Moo. She moo like a cow. Moo. That is a very big cow. Or is it just a little cow next to a big farm? But now it looks like a little farm under a big, big sky. And look at this big tree and just a little barn no it's a it's a big barn and a little house no it's a it's a big house with a little 
window. I don't know. I think I think it's a big window with a little ruff, ruff, ruff dog. No, it's a big dog. Can you see what that dog has on his nose? It's a big dog taking a little nap. What is that that dog has on its nose? I think it's a big bug. The end. So you might think that you're little, especially next to your grown-up, but next to a ladybug, guess what, my friends? You are big. So sometimes you are big, even though you may feel like you're always very little. And now we're going to move to, I know you guys are not going to be happy with this, but it's time to move to the spider portion of the event. So now we're going to talk spiders and we're going to have a nursery rhyme. And this nursery rhyme is going to feature Little Miss Muffet. You know Little Miss Muffet? Let's put her right here. I'm going to put her on her tuffet. Little Miss Muffet sat on her tuffet eating her curds and whey. <gasps> Along came a spider who sat down beside her and, ah, frightened Miss Muffet away. Now you can do this even if you don't have a Miss Muffet at home. You have something else, you have your fist. Pretend this fist is Miss Muffet. You ready? You can do it like this. And then instead of a spider, just use your fingers. Have your fingers become a spider. Little Miss Muffet sat on her tuffet eating her curds and whey. <gasps> Along came a spider who sat down beside her and ah! frightened Miss Muffet away. Good job. Now, does anyone know a song featuring our friend the spider? Hmm, how about the Itsy Bitsy Spider? Does everybody know the Itsy Bitsy Spider? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, you ready? The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. I think we need to do it one more time. Are you ready? Take a deep breath. <gasps> The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. Excellent. Good job. And now it's time for another story. And we're going to go visit the tall, tall grass. Let's see what's in the tall. What is that, do you think? I don't know. Let's see. In the tall, tall grass. In the tall, tall grass. Crunch, munch. Caterpillars, lunch. Dirt dip, hummingbird, sip. Thrum, thrum, bees hum. Crack snap, wings flap. Pull, tug, ants, lug. Slip, slide, snakes, glide. Itch, ratch, moles, scratch. Skitter, scurry, beetles, Hurry. Zip zap, tongue snap. Hip hop, ears flop. Stop, go, fireflies glow. <gasps> Lunge, loop, bat, swoop. Stars bright, moonlight, good night. Tall, tall grass. The end. Yay! And now we're going to sing a song about one of my favorite bugs. Yeah, it's a ladybug. I love ladybugs. Partly because, do you know, if you find a ladybug, it means it will bring good luck. 
I think it's true. And here we go. This is how my little ladybug song goes. I have a little ladybug, ladybug, ladybug. Have a little ladybug. Its wings are black and red. <gasps> See the little ladybug, ladybug, ladybug. See the little ladybug flying here and there. Now it's landing on the ground, on the ground, on the ground. Now it's landing on the ground, crawling everywhere. All right, we're going to do this one more time. And take your fingers for a tender ladybug. You ready? And if your babies are little, just have that ladybug crawl right on them. Here we go. I have a little ladybug, ladybug, ladybug. I have a little ladybug. Its wings are black and red. See the little ladybug, ladybug, ladybug. See the little ladybug flying here and there. Now it's landing on the ground, on the ground, on the ground. Now it's landing on the ground and crawling everywhere the end good job and now it's time for another song about an animal you may not like as much this is a bug that a lot of kids don't care for but they're really important Bzzz. yeah it's the bumblebee and a lot of times when kids see bumblebees they go ah it's a bee because they don't want to get stung. But bees are our friends and they give us honey. So I think you probably know this song. And what you can do is you can pretend you have a little bumblebee in your hand. You ready? I'm bringing home a baby bumblebee. Won't my mommy be so proud of me? I'm bringing home a baby bumblebee. Ouch! It stung me! I'm bringing home a baby turtle. Won't my mommy really pop her girdle? I'm bringing home a baby turtle. Oh no, he won't come out of his shell. He's no fun. Oh, how about this guy? I'm bringing home a baby rattlesnake. Won't my mommy shiver and shake? I'm bringing home my baby rattlesnake. Rattle, rattle, rattle. I don't know. Let's try one more guy. You ready? Now this one is going to be the best of all. I'm bringing home my baby dinosaur. Won't my mommy fall right through the floor? I'm bringing home my baby dinosaur. Roar! 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 Can you roar like a baby dinosaur? Let's hear you do it. Roar! Good job, you baby dinosaurs. All right, now we're going to talk about another little bug. Does anyone know what this is? Yeah, it's a caterpillar. It's a very hungry caterpillar, right? And caterpillars are so special because here they are. They eat and they eat and they eat. And then they make a home around themselves called a chrysalis. And they start to nibble their way out of the chrysalis. And they turn into our friends, the butterfly. And, you know, it feels impossible that a little caterpillar can do that. But it also feels impossible that a little baby can grow up and become an adult. And guess what, my friends? You will. You will. Keep growing. Keep eating. Keep sleeping. Here we go. This is the very hungry caterpillar by Eric Carl. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came out and pop! Out of the egg came a very tidy and very hungry caterpillar. He started to look for some food. On Monday, he ate through one red apple, but he was still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through one, two green 
cares? But guess what, my friends? He was still hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through one, two, three plums. But you know what? He was still hungry. On Thursday, he ate through one, two, three, four, four. What are these guys? Strawberries. And guess what? He was still hungry. On Friday, he ate through one, two, three, four, five oranges. But do you know what, my friends? He was still hungry. So on Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of salami, one slice of Swiss cheese, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. And that night he had, oh, a tummy ache. The next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf. And after that, he felt much better. Now, he wasn't hungry anymore. And he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a great big fat caterpillar. So he built a small house called a chrysalis around himself and stayed inside for more than two weeks. And when finally he nibbled a little hole in the chrysalis and he pushed his way out and what? He was a beautiful butterfly. Look at that beautiful butterfly. The and da -da. And now it's officially lapsit time. And you know, I don't have my teddy bear today. I think I'm gonna do lap sit time with my friend the turtle, which is kind of a strange baby, but we're gonna make it work. Okay, and the first one we're gonna do is called caterpillar creeping. All right, so you're gonna take your fingers, hold on to baby and take your fingers and make the caterpillar creep. And even if you have a toddler, see if you can wrangle that toddler and do some creeping, you ready? Caterpillars creeping, caterpillars crawl, caterpillars climbing all along the wall, caterpillars spinning, caterpillars snug, caterpillar changing, what have you become? A butterfly, yay! Let's do that one more time, you ready? Caterpillar creeping, caterpillar crawl, caterpillar climbing all along the wall. Caterpillar spinning, caterpillar snug, caterpillar changing, what have you become? A butterfly! Yay! Good job. All right, so next we are going to do five hungry ants. Are you ready? Five, so take five fingers and we're gonna do bouncing as we do this. Five hungry ants were marching in a line. They came across a picnic where they could dine. They marched across the sandwich. They marched across the cake. They marched across the pepper, but that was a mistake. Achoo! 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 All right, let's do that one again. And if you want, you can do it again with four, then three, then two, then one. But we're going to stick with five. You ready? Let's do five hungry ants one more time. Five angry ants. Five angry ants were marching in a line. They came across a picnic where they could dine. They marched across the sandwich. They marched across the cake. They marched across the pepper. But that was a mistake. Achoo! 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 Good job. Yay! Okay, so now we're going to do one other rhyme, and this is about the bumblebee. Are you ready? So can you make a beehive like this? Thank you. Take all your bees, put them in the beehive. Here is the beehive, but where are the bees? They're hidden inside where nobody sees. Watch them as they come out of the hive. One, two, three, four, five. They're alive! Ah! Let's 
do it again. One, two, three, four, five in the beehive. Here is the beehive, but where are the bees? They're hidden inside where nobody sees. Watch them as they come out of the hive. One, two, three, four, five. They're alive! Good job. And now we have a rhyme about a fly. Did anybody here have a fly for breakfast? I'm guessing you probably did not have flies for breakfast. Well, I would like you to meet my friend, the old lady, who eats pretty crazy things. And one thing she loves to have is a nice juicy fly. And this is a song and I'm gonna share it with you. You ready? I know an old lady who swallowed a fly. I don't know why she swallowed the fly. Oh, perhaps she'll cry. I know an old lady who swallowed a spider that wiggled and jiggled and tickled inside her. She swallowed the spider to catch the fly. I don't know why she swallowed the fly. Oh, perhaps she'll cry. I know an old lady who swallowed a bird. How absurd to swallow a bird. She swallowed the bird to catch the spider that wiggled and jiggled and tickled inside her. She swallowed the spider to catch the fly. I don't know why she swallowed the fly. Oh, perhaps she'll cry. I know an old lady who swallowed a cat. Imagine that she swallowed a cat. She swallowed the cat to catch the bird. She swallowed the bird to catch the spider that wiggled and jiggled and tickled inside her. She swallowed the spider to catch the fly. I don't know why she swallowed the fly. Oh, perhaps she'll cry. I know an old lady who swallowed a woof, woof dog. What a hog to swallow a dog. She swallowed the dog to catch the cat. She swallowed the cat to catch the bird. She swallowed the bird to catch the spider that wiggled and jiggled and tickled inside her. She swallowed the spider to catch the fly. I don't know why she swallowed the fly. Oh, perhaps she'll cry. I know an old lady who swallowed a goat. She opened her throat and she swallowed a goat. <gasps> she swallowed the goat to catch the dog. She swallowed the dog to catch the cat. She swallowed the cat to catch the bird. She swallowed the bird to catch the spider that wiggled and jiggled and tickled inside her. She swallowed the spider to catch the fly. I don't know why she swallowed the fly. Gulp, perhaps she'll cry. I know an old lady who swallowed a a cow. I don't know how, but she swallowed a cow. <gasps> she swallowed the cow to catch the goat. She swallowed the goat to catch the dog. She swallowed the dog to catch the cat. She swallowed the cat to catch the bird. She swallowed the bird to catch the spider that wiggled and jiggled and tickled inside her. She swallowed the spider to catch the fly. I don't know why she swallowed the fly. Goop. Perhaps she'll cry. I know an old lady who swallowed a horse. And guess what, my friends? Gulp. <laughs> she cried, of course. The end. Wouldn't you cry if you swallowed a horse? I know. I think I would. Okay. And now it's time for us to sing our ABCs and one, two, threes. Is everybody ready? So we're going to start with the ABCs. You ready? Here we go. Let's count to three. A one, a two, a three, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Excellent. And now we're going to do some counting from 0 to 20. Are you ready? 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 
16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Now I know my ABCs and I can't count from zero to 20. Excellent, great job. And now it's time for the grand finale. We will perform our famous firefly dance. And fireflies are very special because they have a little light right on their bottoms. And as they zoom around, they blink on and off. And it's really fun if you have a flashlight, you can always make your own firefly dance. But for now, let's all just stand up. We're gonna pretend to be fireflies, okay? And I'm gonna use my firefly puppet, but you can be the fireflies. I am a light bright, just like a night light. I fly in circles up in the sky. Some call me lightning when my light's blinking. But to my friends, I'm firefly. While others sleep tight, I flash my night light and fill the dark sky with light so bright. Look out your window, you'll see me flashing, and I'll turn and tell you good night, good night. And now let's sing our goodbye friend with Mr. Firefly. You ready? Let's count to three. One, two, three. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye again. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye, friends. And thank you so much for joining me this summer for baby time. And I hope to see all of you moving forward to the fall and stop into the Fairlawn Library for some of our wonderful books and to find out what our new programs are going to be in the fall. And if you want to have see any of the words from any of the songs and finger plays, you can look it right up the show notes on our website. Bye, everyone. Bye. <laughs>